Hi everyone. In my last video, I showed how you can use PowerShell to display information about deleted mail stored in the exchange mailbox. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can restore or recover those deleted items using PowerShell. I'm already connected to the exchange online, but I didn't include the steps. I'm going to post a video of how you can connect to the exchange online using PowerShell. As I mentioned in my last video, when you delete an email from, the, from inbox, that email was, it's going to go to a deleted items folder. And when you delete an again from this deleted uh, items folder, that email will go to the recoverable items folder. So that's the big difference between this folder and deleted items folder in exchange online. So now let's say you already know an email that you want to recover from the deleted items and you know the subject of it. You can use PowerShell to recover that email and send it back to its folder. It's going to be, whether it's in an inbox or let's say one of these folders that that item got deleted from. And I'm going to show you how you can do it. Here in my deleted items folder, I have this email and I want to recover this email. And this is the subject of this email. To do that, I'm going to use restore dash recoverable items here i'm going to use or i'm going to include that user's uh user's primary email address or the name it doesn't matter in this case going to be this user source folder is going to be the name of the folder that i'm trying to recover the email from and in this case is deleted items folder and i'm going to use subject contains so the email, here's the subject. I don't have to write the entire subject. I'm just gonna use this part of it, did someone say, and let's see if it's gonna work or not. So I'll press enter. PowerShell is gonna display information about uh, our command. So it restored back to the shopping folder. So I have a folder called shopping. So it's going to send it back to this folder because it got deleted from that folder. You can see that the last modified that is today's date. That's when I restored this email and the source folder is deleted items. And here's the subject of the email and an item class is ipm.node. Anytime you see ipm.node, it means that it's an email. And identity is the name of the, is the user or the name of the user. And if I go back to the inbox and click on the, the shopping folder, I see that email has been recovered. That's one way you can recover email if you know the subject of that email. So for this example, I use for the source folder, I use the deleted items. If you want to do, if you want to recover an email from the recoverable items, uh, you could have just changed uh, these to recoverable items and it would work the same way. So that's what you can do. Just change the source folder. Now, let's say you want to recover only task item or contact item. You can use filter item type to filter out uh, the specific mail item and recover those. As I mentioned last time, there are four mail items or types in Exchange Online. For email messages, we use ipm.note. For contact, we use ipm.contact. For calendar item, we use ipm.appointment. And for task item, we use ipm.task. So the command is, gonna, is going to look like this. I use ipm.no because I just want to recover email messages. Source folder is going to be deleted items folder. And if I click enter, it's going to recover everything that it's in this uh, deleted items folder. And everything in the deleted items folder got recovered. And they, if, if I, let's say if I deleted something from just shopping folder, it would just everything will go back to that folder that got deleted from. Now, let's say for this example, I didn't have any contact or task items, but let's say if you have, or a user has something like that, and you don't want to recover everything, you can use filter item type to recover specific uh, mail item. 
So yeah, that's how you can use PowerShell to recover and restore mail items, including emails in Exchange Online. Please watch my first video because in that video, I explain how you can enable restore recoverable items and get recoverable items in PowerShell. They're not on by, by default and you need to go to the Exchange Online Admin Center and add a new admin roles to you or whoever's going to use PowerShell. Let me know if you have any questions. See you all next time.